this is a species of rue or the genus Ruta. It's found in the Rutaceae families. This is the same as the citrus family. Now, this is a really interesting um, plant because it has a lot of um, background and kind of folklore and magic in old traditional Italian medicine. There's a saying or a proverb that la ruta d'ogni mal si stuta, or the rue stops every disease. And in fact, it was used by more advanced healers in a lot of the praying healing rituals. There's one ritual healing um, ceremony in particular that I think of when I, when I think about rue, and that's for the illness of maldarco. Maldarco, also known as the rainbow illness, occurs when people um, bring on a kind of yellowish tint to their color. Um, they have this ceremonial measurement of the limbs that appears to be off base. And it's thought that if you urinate outside while looking at the rainbow, you get this disease. This is a historic kind of traditional disease. And so if the treatment for this, um, this folk illness was to take rue and you make a tea of it in the form of, you lay the leaves in the form of a cross and this is drunk, the urine is then collected over a period of, of cycles of three days. And I believe it was on the ninth day, the pot of urine and ash is thrown into the street so that you can be rid of the illness. Um, but the rue itself is, it was really important. Now, pharmacologically, rue is interesting because of its, um, contains compounds that are known as sorolin. Um, sorolin is a photoactive compound. So when you, um, have this in your system and you have exposure to light, you can actually get DNA intercalation, um, on, in the skin. So it can also lead to discoloration of the skin. So pharmacologically really interesting species, but also, um, really rich in terms of, of historic uses in magic, healing, and lore.